No, I think that if you're in a market where uh, you're involved in brands that have a very strong global, you know, I would say, perception, like the football brands and the NBA, you need to be exceptionally you know, positive, you know, cautious about how you actually accompany those brands on a global basis because you sell into, as I said, di difficult political systems, different value systems. And uh, so, but I don't think that has changed. What, what has changed is the sensitivity between the different regions driven by politics and economics, and that has accelerated, you know, I would say, you know, uh, the risk profile that associated with it. By, with the global brands, but I don't think that the macro has, has changed fundamentally. We have not changed our position. We are not a political brand, and we don't aim to be a political brand. We aim to be a brand that allow people to exercise and do sport and just feel good about wearing our products. And other companies in the space have got involved in politics. Um, they're, they're the support of Mr. Kopernik, for instance, as well. But just talking about Nike, uh, Mark Parker stepped down as well. The Oregon Project, a lot of questions about that. A lot of questions about retesting of athletes' doping samples as well, and blood samples as well. Can Adidas take advantage of the concerns around the Oregon Project and what's happened over at Nike? I don't think so, and I don't think it's our role either. I think our role is to build the best products that people will buy, and I think that eventually that's how athletes will look upon and consumers will look upon us. And I actually don't think it's our role to speak bad about our competitors. We should ensure that we build the absolute best products and make sure that the consumers want to buy our products and because whom we are, and not because what others do. So that's our position. That is, will continue to be our position. Going back to 1924, the origin of the company was very simple. Build the best product for the athletes, and that remains unchanged in 2019. And when we do that, then we have good numbers. And like in 2019, it will be a record year because we built great products. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.